But whatever maneuvers nobody will deflect us from ensuring that there is full accountability. So all the stakeholders are discussing this issue of bail. We shall discuss it and, 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 and get a solution. It will not be used as a cover to protect criminals, no. Secondly, we are discussing the issue of lenient sentences. Somebody has killed a person, life imprisonment. Life imprisonment. But the person you killed is not in prison. He's in the grave. So for you, you, you want to remain in that hotel called prison for life? Why? Why don't you ensure equality in actions? You killed, you must be killed. If you are to, if the, so, so that one would not accept this life imprisonment. Uh, uh, it is life for life, tooth for a tooth, unless you are forgiven for some reason. And as I said uh, during the judge's time, the tribes always insisted on full accountability. But you can have, uh, they could have, the tribes could have uh, a pacific solution, but no impunity, no impunity. Mm. So therefore, we are continuing to discuss this. Nobody will stop us. People are crying all over the place. I was seeing a paper here. Today, today, today. There was something about uh, a chairman somewhere crying for... Get, get it for me, Omona, the, the, the chairman of somewhere in Kabarore, in this paper here, was crying about police bond. Get it for me. It is somewhere you go page by page. The chairman in somewhere was crying about police bond. Now, you, you, you get a lot of stories about delays in court and all that. Yes. How can you be in Jerusalem and you don't know what's happening there? The delays were part of the collapse which the state of Uganda went through because of the mistakes. By the time we came into government in 1986, everything was down. No money, no, the tax revenue in 1986 was only 5 billion shillings. I would like the UBC people to, pre, to, to print out for the readers and, and also in the newspapers the tax collection year by year. Why would anybody be talking about inadequate this, inadequate that, as if you don't know how it all started? We are very happy that we have moved the way we have moved. So why would anybody talk as if he doesn't know how problems in Uganda came about? But we in UPDF, we have been able to defend Uganda in spite of the gaps here and there in, in, in the resources we use, how do we defend Uganda? Haven't you seen our soldiers staying in uh, Mama Ingiapore houses, grass thatched houses? Can a grass, somebody staying in a grass thatched house shoot you and you die or not? We have, we have shown that you can do your duty even when you don't have all the facilities. Even in the case of, of justice, you can prioritize. These cases are not the same. Murder is not the same as, other, as assault, as other things. So you can prioritize, and you say with murder, 
we give it priority. We don't have enough resources to handle all cases uh, at go, but let's prioritize murder. Why? Because murder is, irre is irreversible. Somebody has been killed, you can't bring him back. Other problems, I can be in prison for a long time, I will come out. I was so many times in prison in Tanzania. This is no Tanzanian prison I did not go to. Bukoba, two times. Mwanza, Tabora. Dar es Salaam Central uh, Police Station. Ukonga Maximum Security Prison. This is no way I didn't go in prison in Tanzania. Don't you see me here? Didn't I get out and do some useful work? Even exile alone was like a prison, eight years, we were, so much things. But we came out, exile was like prison. Being in the Royal Triangle, cut off. We didn't know what, we didn't know what, we didn't know what was happening to our families, to our... So, there's nothing you can compare with the dying. Dying is ir irreversible. All other issues, uh, 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 problems are reversible. So therefore, this argument of uh, delayed days cannot apply to murder. The court system can prioritize murder, and the murder cases are not so many. If you take the whole country, they, they, they are not the majority of the cases of the backlog. So the question of murder can be addressed in spite of. Uh, now, this is the, the problem of, of Kavarori. Hmm? Livestock. Like livestock thieves, this is on page of today, page 12 of New Vision, on the bottom, on the bottom there. Livestock thieves that are mainly targeting cows have invaded the Kavari district. The thieves mainly attacked the sub-counties of Harugongo, Chitwamba, Kazingo, and Hachivari. The affected areas are all adjacent to the Toro Semrichi Game Reserve in Toroko District. Godfrey Musumba, the Harugongo sub-county chairperson, said more than 20 cows were stolen last month. Musumba said the thieves that are aterrizing the area are using the game reserve as their hideout. I suspect that the livestock thieves could be exporting whatever they, they steal to the Democratic Republic of Congo. Uh, the thieves have for long terrorized this place. They use the footpath within the Toro Samrik game reserve to gain access to Ntoroko. On Tuesday night, angry residents of Nyantaboma village in Harugong arrested and killed two suspected cattle thieves before burning their bodies to ashes. Mm -hmm. That is now justice. The duo, the duo whose identities remain unknown was allegedly arrested with four cows stolen from Harugongo. Residents said the duo were wearing multiple clothes. Nyataboma village LC1 chairperson Hape Katorogo said some pastures have migrated from the area due, due to increasing insecurity. We are living in fear because of the thieves who have invaded our area. Every night we receive reports of stolen livestock. The theft of livestock has, according to Katorogo, affected the supply of, of milk in the area. Some uh, pastoralists have relocated, uh, 
have relocated uh, to, uh, to other areas due to the continuous theft of livestock. It is unfortunate that whereas the community is working hard to get rid of poverty, they are pulled back by acts of insecurity. So th this, is, uh, th this will undermine uh, these programs we have, uh, Operation Wealth Creation, uh, the parish model. Chitramba Chairperson Jack Magezi accused the police of releasing suspected cattle thieves on bond without producing them before courts of law. One of the people said it is unfortunate that these two were killed before they shared any information with security. We suspect the, to the, the Toro Semriki Game Reserve is harboring criminals and so on. So, this is not, this is not a joke. Now, he, 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 people here are crying and some two people were killed. Oh, how can we have a system like this? So, therefore, for the police, I will not accept the issue of bond for police by police. In cases like this, you give bond, I'm going to discuss with the attorney general to see how to stop this nonsense from the police side. On the side of bail, we are going to discuss with all the stakeholders, the NRM caucus people, the Wanainchi in, in, in the countryside, and, and the judiciary to see how we stop bail being misused by uh, using it to, to, to cover criminals. On the issue of the resources for the court, for the courts, we have, we, have, we have put more money. They have been having a budget of 190 billion. We have now pushed it to about uh, uh, almost 400 billion now, and we are targeting 800 billion. And uh, uh, when we get there, uh, we, sh we shall have uh, more network of courts uh, in the whole country. This one we have agreed with the Chief Justice. Uh, uh, and, and, the, and the judiciary in, in general. That's what I wanted to mention on, uh, on the issue of, 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 of bail. Uh, then I, I, I would like to, to conclude uh, by talking a little bit about uh, the funny people I see on uh, commenting, writing. Uh, the other day I gave uh, a speech on the issue of human rights. I, wa I was explaining, uh, really explaining our doctrine on the human rights. Then I, I saw people saying that I was, I was say, doing it because of donors. <laughs> People are really sick. I am doing things because of donors. Now, here, I have the NRA Code of Conduct, NRA Code of Conduct. I will publish it in the papers for those who are interested. This was adopted at Kanyanda at the Kenyan Conference of 1981, 81, 82 December, uh, December. And the NRA code says, dealing with the public, never abuse, insult, shout, shout out or beat any member of the public. Never take anything in the form of money or property from any member of the public, not even somebody's sweet bananas or sugar canes on the ground that it is mere sugar cane without paying for the same. Pay promptly for anything you take 
in, uh, and in cash. Never kill any member of the public or any captured prisoners, as the guns should only be reserved for armed enemies or opponents, armed opponents. Return anything you borrow from the public. Offer help to the members of the public who may be in the territory of, of your unit. Offer medical treatment to members of the public who may be in the territory of your unit. Never develop illegitimate relationship with any woman because there are no women uh, as such waiting for passing soldiers, yet, yet many women are wives or daughters of somebody somewhere. Any illegitimate relationship is bound to harm our good relations with the public. There should be no consumption of alcohol until the end of the war. Drunken soldiers are bound to misuse the guns which are given to them for the defense of the people, and so on. So this one was adopted in 1981. Where were the, where were the donors? Which donors were, were we trying to impress? Huh? These are structures of the courts and so on. So therefore, what I said the other day was to educate, educate the public and uh, internally, I had already shared those documents which I put out with, the, with the, some elements of the armed forces, and we shall continue to, dis to discuss them. Uh, so you can deceive yourselves by, by claiming all sorts of things, but what I told you is our doctrine. That's what we believe. It is not for sure. It is not to impress the donors uh, or anybody. It is for our own beliefs and our own doctrine and our own modest operandi. I thank you and I wish you good luck.